Now I'm a little late to the season, but I have finally switched out of my little Snoopy canvas tote bag. My regular viewers and also my Instagram friends, you guys know that I have been loving this tote all summer long. I picked this up in uh, Seoul, Korea when I was out there and for six months, this has been my go-to bag. A lot of you guys have been wondering when my next What's My Bag video was going to post, but you guys, it was really nothing special. And unfortunately, there was no link uh, where you guys could get this as well. However, Santa came through and <laughs> gifted me a beautiful new satchel that I'm so excited to start using. I have it all set up and Ta-da, here it is, my favorite color. I love a good classic black, just like my wardrobe 95% of the time, and it's perfect for this winter season. Now, I'm not really into logos or name brands, but my husband, he actually, he knows me so well, and he knows I love black, and I love a satchel bag. I don't know what it is, I just, I think, well, I know what it is. It stemmed from my love with the Fossil Sydney satchel with, um, I'll link it down below if you guys haven't seen it. The very, very, very first What's My Bag that I did like seven or eight years ago, which I still have that bag to this day. It's a classic. But ever since that bag, I just fell in love with the satchel style. And I wanna show you what I'm going to be putting all inside and how I have it set up. I've only had this for a couple of days, I mean, since Christmas, but when I tell you, this bag is so light. You guys, it's so, so light. It may not come off that way in uh, on the video, but I was so surprised, maybe because it's not leather. It's like this fun little puffy material. And again, I'm not really into like brands or logos, so it's not like specifically my husband knew I love Kate Spade, which to be honest, I don't really care for Kate Spade items personally. I don't, I that's just not my thing. I don't really care for Tory Burch or Kate Spade or any of that. But again, it's more about the style. So I might black this out with a Sharpie. I'm not sure. Um, or I could just wear it on this side. But let me go ahead and show you what I will be using it or how I'll be using it and what I'll be holding. Now, the details about this bag, as you could see, it does have the double zip. Very smooth too. No, it does not come with this cute little charm. I added this on, but it does have the detachable strap here. So if you don't like the wide strap you can remove it or you can switch it out with a, a strap of your 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 choice what i do like about this though is because this bag itself is so light i feel like i can stuff this more than my other favorite satchels within my collection from like the, the fossil sydney satchel because it's leather and because the strap is thinner it kind of digs into my shoulder which um hold on i have it right here to show Here's the, I don't wanna pull the whole thing out, but let me show you guys. Um, where's the, oh, you know what? I think I put this strap inside the handbag. I promise I'll get, I'll leave timestamps below, by the way, of when the whole what's in my bag starts. But I know a lot of my regular viewers, you're gonna, you're gonna want more details about this bag itself. So you see how thin and narrow the strap is for that? This is thicker. And I realized that is most likely the reason why I enjoy this tote bag so much because I could use it again like as a arm satchel kind of style or a crossbody but this crossbody was adjustable and again the thickness so a lot of canvas bags you'll see they're really short handled or they're not as comfortable um, and I just love that bag so good choice on my husband's part going back to the strap it is adjustable I am 5'2", and I find that this bag is very comfortable with the adjustments that I'm able to do. I like to wear this crossbody, and it lays on my hip with how I have it adjusted. Here, you can add on like another clip. You can add like a charm, those little clip-on sanitizers. If you'd like to collect those pins, you can put pins on here, which then will still be comfortable because it has like this other layer. So very versatile, I think, with this strap. On the sides, you have two 
pockets. So let's go ahead and begin with what's in my bag. On the two sides, this side I have, I put my sanitizing items, the, the spray here. And what scent is this? I think it was, um, oh, wild, mm, yeah, wild watermelon, which you can spray directly onto your hand. And then I carry these individual um, wipes. I really like this one, the peppermint and eucalyptus. This is really handy, especially if you go out to eat. Like I'm always trying a new restaurant and sometimes like the tables aren't very um, nicely wiped down or if you just want to wipe down a handle or whatever, just clean your hands in general. This is very, very handy to have. And the scent is, um, is you know not too overbearing on the other side this is these are the items that i reach for i would say like the most just in general instead of having to dig in here and this would hold of course i need to have my little pen <laughs> never know when you need to write something down and then my favorite lip gloss that i have been using for years and years and years and years i mean you can't beat this price point i think it's like less than six dollars and it moisturizes your lips very very well it's long lasting and i have this all over my house a little flashlight just in case i think just just in case my phone dies i just have a extra light source and um my favorite flavor gum now in the inside the inside it has i believe there were two colors for the specific kate spade puffy satchel the green and the black from what i saw on the website so the inside is black lining I'm trying to can't really see it's just black lining but there are two pockets on one of the sides so right here you can see you can reach in this pocket a slip and then this is a zipper pocket right here which goes in the same depthness of this slip pocket so I thought that was um, very neat to have starting with that zip pocket that is where I'm putting my wallet. I shared this wallet um, before, and I think my last, what's my video, or what's my bag, but here, I took everything out just because I didn't feel like covering my driver's license and my credit card numbers, but my license and my credit card, debit cards, they all go in here. And then this just used for extra change. And then th this could be where you store cash. What is this? Oh, fortune. Do you guys keep these? The fortune cookie, uh, the fortunes. And then the inside, you can clip this into onto your bag or just add more cash um, or receipts. I typically don't hold on to receipts. Um, I just take a picture on my phone and then just keep it in a folder now. But yeah, I thought this black wallet, even though the hardware is gold, which is my ideal preference, and this is silver, I still have this, you know, for the winter. So put this in the zip compartment right here. And then in right on right in front of it in the slip part, I have well again my regular viewers, you guys know I'm like a, a paper girly, okay? I'm into my 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 journals, my planners, my notebooks, and I have the 20 2024 just like a little monthly calendar spread where I can jot down appointments and just have something at a glance even though what did i write in here even though i already have stuff on my app sometimes i just need um oh yeah my credit score uh, sometimes i just need like a, a backup a visual representation of the the things that i need to you know uh, take care of the tasks at hand so i have a blank new notebook for the new year and then just a little muji pen you never know so again I have this in the slip part and um, the most important thing my makeup this is my cosmetic bag got this from Korea and inside these are all my favorites that I would reach for if I'm you know on a road trip running errands after a long day of work and I need to go like meet up with friends or go to the store these are kind of like backups that I have so a little bit of 
Let's see, lip color. I've been really, you guys know, I've been raving about this Clinique. What, what is this? This Clinique Black Honey. Yeah, I've been using this. I like it because it's not as dark as the lip color appears, but it is, oh, I need to get a new one. It's just enough to add a little bit of color, but I've been mixing it lately with this new Neutrogena Hydro Boost. During the spring and summer, I wear this alone, but during the winter, I just kind of like dab. A little goes a long way, you guys, and this color, it actually lasts a long time. And then I will just like mix it. I'll just like blend it in and mix it, and it just adds a little bit more color to my lips. So I've been really enjoying that combination. But I got this little sample from Sephora. This is, I think it was their number one always bright. Wow, this red, this lasts a long time. So sometimes if I'm going somewhere a little bit more formal, then I'll put like a little drop of the red. And then of course, mix it with my favorite lip gloss that I just showed you guys, that Neutrogena lip gloss. So these are my little lippies. And then let's talk about perfume, okay? My favorite winter scent has been the Mon Guerlain, but I also have the Guerlain Angelique. The Mon Guerlain, it is in a bigger bottle, so I don't really want to carry this around because it would add a lot of weight. So what I have been doing and what I've shown in my last video is getting these little perfume bottles. I got this at my local H Mart, but I'm sure you can find this on Amazon. They're just like little um, plastic bottles that you can open up and then refill. So I'll spray this into the bottle and then that way it's like portable now instead of carrying this big um, heavy glass around which just adds more weight. Another scent that I have been enjoying too it's not so much of a winter scent per se, but I do like this, um, the Brazilian Crush. Ooh, it's the black amber plum and vanilla woods. I mean, it reminds me of just like an elevated bath and body work spray, to be honest. So I wouldn't say it's like worth the, you know, the, the, the splurge it was in my stocking stuffer, but I do like this. It feel, it's very refreshing. So it kind of gives that, um, fresh out of the shower type of vibe or like you just washed your hair type of scent. So I just kind of like this to, you know, feel like refreshed. And I have, um, I have that in one of these scents as well. One of the, what is this? Oh, this is, I forgot I had this in here. The vanilla woods. This one was okay. I should take this out. I like a good vanilla, but this has a little bit of a, even though it doesn't say smoke on here, it kind of lingers with a, there's like a smoky after, after um, the dry down. So, I mean, I'll keep this on the side. But another hack that I still do remember like a few what's my video what's in my bag videos i it was during the summer i was loving this tatcha dewy skin mist yeah it's really really pricey and this thing's really really um heavy and mm, would i recommend it no it's not really worth the splurge in my opinion only because you can get other products that work just as well like this trader joe's rose water which is pretty much the same thing like this one's like empty because I, I used it all up so i used to carry this in my snoopy tote bag but look how big this is so then i found a smaller version that came in like a little makeup subscription but again this is still kind of bulky to fit in my makeup bag so of course what i did was i used one of these portable perfume bottles you just open up the cap and then i just poured some in here and now i just have some rose water facial spray where it just you know refreshes my my face so i love using that and then speaking of I'm trying to see you guys it's been so long since i've done a video for my what's in my bag i, I want to catch up on a lot of things i've been absolutely loving this is a hair mist that I enjoy. Where did I put it? I thought, hold on, hold on. Let me grab it real quick. Okay, this, my, 
my friend put me on to this. It, I'm sure the buildup's probably not good for you. I only use this if I know I'm gonna wash my hair like in the next, you know, like the, the same same day or next day. But I have, I really like this Flora Aura Scent Boost. You guys, this is like a really, really good hair perfume spray, okay? You probably could just use this on your hair. It wouldn't even really need um, perfume at all. So I have a little portable version of this and I use this because oftentimes, you know, we're going out to eat with friends, we'll go to Korean barbecue, or if we're meeting up in Vegas, we'll go to the casino, there's a lot of smoke and I just don't like that smell in my hair. Um, or if I'm going from somewhere that has a lot of like maybe stale air and I need to go somewhere else, I, I kind of want to freshen up my hair because the hair traps in the scent. So I have this in a portable um, bottle as well. And let me, can you guys tell I just, I love my little uh, perfumes and cosmetics. This one, my best friend, she put me on to this, the Louis Vuitton Attrape um, Rev by Louis Vuitton. This is not directly sold by Louis Vuitton, this actual portable travel size. I got this on eBay by uh, Royalty Sense, but it is the real perfume. You can actually refill this. So I like this because it's travel size and this is kind of like my corporate perfume. I wear this to work. It smells very, very, um, just very professional, very feminine and classic love that scent and even though again we are winter we're in the winter season i just i just fell in love with this versace dylan purple this is my uh, my favorite every everyday like go-to scent other than the mon Guerlain. the mon Guerlain is something i would wear like on date night or if i'm going to be out and about at like a nice dinner or meeting with like my my girlfriends to like a wine bar but this is just like, hey, I'm going to go to Target real quick. <laughs> so, but still smell really, really nice. Or I'm just going over, um, you know, a friend's house to like chit chat real quick. So pen, really nice hand lotion. Another hack um, with the hand lotion, like if you can't find a portable size in a scent that you enjoy, I showed this too in my last What's My Bag, get these little portable, um, like pill boxes i put my lotion and i would refill it with the trader joe's coconut body butter to get you know like my hands or anywhere that may, may get dry that you forgot like your ankles if you're out and about and you're like oh no i need to put some lotion on there or in between your fingers so during the summer i would put this miss dior and i put it in one of these because they don't have like a travel size in this or of course my favorite the other trader joe's the ultra moisturizing hand cream this smells so good the shea butter with hemp oil so yeah a couple of hacks that you can consider if again your favorite scent doesn't come in a travel size so i think um wow that, that this is already a long video so that's pretty much it you guys i have this makeup bag and then i carry around a little um a planner or a notebook which for my planner and journal friends i will have hopefully my lineup <laughs> coming up soon i'm you guys i'm moving into my book era okay my my reading era and i'm here for it. i'm here for it so i <laughs> i so i'm sorry i'm so sorry i don't have a lot of videos up because i've just been stuck on reading and playing my harry potter hogwarts of legacy uh switch game so i've been out of the game for uh a minute uh but this bag does fit like this journal so a5 slim or a5 size journal or a book okay yes if you are curious it would fit in this bag comfortably or even like a smaller let's just say like a six size book so no problems there i noticed that as of lately i i just don't i'm not a stuffer i like to carry things like that are just necessary so a lot of things that i used to carry around i just don't find that i need to do that anymore um these items i don't carry on a regular basis and you'll see why this is only a certain time of the month i'll carry my feminine pouch which oh actually i should probably put this in my makeup pouch the band-aid so yeah this is only thrown in here when it's that time of that cycle and then yes it would fit in there 
This I do carry, but this is more like if I'm going somewhere, like if I'm visiting family, if I, when I travel, if I'm going out of town, this is my, um, or where is this? Yeah, this is my little tea, my little tea um, stash because sometimes I just, I'm not in the mood for just plain water, but I don't want to drink like juice or soda. So I'll just, everyone has water. So I'll just get some hot water and then enjoy my own favorite tea. So I always have like a stash here, especially if I'm at like hotels. Ugh, I do not drink that coffee that they keep in the room or whatever tea that they have. So let me know what type of tea flavor are you guys enjoying? Also, what type of books are you got? Would you guys recommend? Santa brought me a gift card and I gotta, I have to burn through that book. So let me know what book are you guys enjoying? I do want to get a, a Kindle and yes, I can already like the Kindle will fit in here. So that will be like no problems. It will comfortably fit in there. So I think that is pretty much all I have to share with you guys. Sometimes I'll put a hair clip on my bag. I did do that with my Snoopy uh, tote. I would put my little hair clip right here. Sometimes I like to wear my hair down and then later during the day it gets hot. So um, I think maybe that's another reason why I enjoy these satchels multi-purpose. I can kind of like clamp it somewhere within within my bag. I got this hair clip again in Korea. So cute with the little fabric. But yeah, I guess that is pretty much it, you guys. I'm using my phone right now, but normally I just throw my phone like somewhere in the bag. Just right here in the bag along with my little planner makeup supplies and then just the little necessities on the side here i think i'm trying to make sure i covered everything um yeah i think that's it i'll link down below this exact kate spade satchel the puffy satchel no feet on here but you guys it's really really lightweight oh it's so comfortable to wear and if you're like me and you like to wear black or you enjoy a good classic black bag, I think you would find this bag very, very um, fun. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.